It's the sound that's become synonymous with the holidays. The sound of bells ringing. Ringing for a good cause. They're ringing to help people that are in need. It's a 124-year-old tradition, the Salvation Army Christmas Kettle Campaign. Here's how it all began. The Kettle Campaign started in 1891 in San Francisco, when a young captain by the name of Joseph McPhee placed a large pot on a ferry dock and asked passers-by to keep the pot boiling by making a donation. Now more than a century later, the pot is still warm. Volunteers across the country are looking to spread their holiday cheer, doing the most good. I love helping people. David Dunham is one of hundreds of bell ringers this holiday season, manning a post for the Salvation Army. Six days a week, six hours. We stood with David for a minute, counted how many rings. 138. Now multiply that times 60, and that equals 8,280. That's approximately how many rings David does in an hour. We'll take it a step further. Multiply that number by David's hours per week, which is 36. That number is 298,080. This guitar? No, I just change hands. <laughs> I'd do it with my feet if I could. <laughs> but he can't. David Dunham is a disabled amputee. He's missing his right leg and doesn't have any toes on his left foot. I've lived here almost 40 years, and uh, I love Casper. So in the spirit of giving, he's at Walmart six days a week, six hours a day, ringing that bell, doing the most good. I enjoy, like I said, enjoy uh, meeting people and greeting people. and and knowing that it's going for good cause. The Salvation Harmony is a great organization, very great organization. Trying to help keep that pot warm this Christmas, I'm Xavier Walton, K2 News.